Hello Taurus, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general weekly reading for Taurus from the 26th of August to the 1st of September 2019. Please don't forget to watch a moon and rising sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessma.co.uk and book a reading. I've put my uh, decks that I'm using in the description box so please have a look. And don't forget to watch my videos on simple energy healing remedies as well as my deck walkthrough series. You'll find those very interesting and very, very helpful. So like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with a general energy read and then I will do the general tarot read for you afterwards. I'm using the uh, tea leaf oracle for the energy read. And the first card is the shield, so you do need to defend yourself in whatever situation you're going through. Uh, and the arrow card is following that, so you are on the right path regarding some aspect in your life. So know that you are on the right path and you do need to defend yourself if anybody comes up against you. You have a great passion for whatever you're doing and it looks like it will blossom and bloom with that tulip card. Now, in the past, you've got the elephant over here. So a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So you've been learning a lot on this journey that you've been going through. You've got the ring card over here. So marriage will take place other, either romantic or business. Uh, so you may have signed new contracts, maybe business contracts, or you might be even getting engaged or marriage, married, or you might be even may have even attended a wedding recently. This is the season for weddings, after all. So going to the future, you've got the stock card over here. So the news about a birth or a new business opportunity. So you might hear about somebody uh, having had a baby. Or you could be uh, getting uh, some kind of a new opportunity coming uh, forth in the form of a business opportunity. And there's, this is going to bring in a lot of excitement. You've got that firecracker card. So either that birth of that baby is going to bring in a lot of excitement or this new business opportunity coming your way is going to be a cause for celebration and excitement there. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the secret tarot for the main read. bottom of the deck you've got the three of wands so you've got some project in mind that you have put a, put out there and you're waiting for uh, you know a positive outcome uh, you know returns from whatever you've been putting out there um, it was some kind of uh, project that you were solely in charge of or it was your as they say it's your baby and you've put it out there you've come up with that idea you've been uh, one that was instrumental in um, you know you've been in charge of it uh, completely orchestrating that particular idea, that venture, and you have put it out uh, maybe onto the international front and you're waiting to get rewards or returns um, from that particular venture. So this could also be, you know, that you've got some kind of offer that's come in for you to do some travel. Uh, you know, so that you can uh, to travel overseas with this new job opportunity. Maybe you're in some kind of leadership position as well. Now you've got the Five of Cups and it's crossed by the King of Pentacles here. So uh, you know, the King of Pentacles is your card. There's something that you've invested uh, some time and effort in, and it has not. Uh, you know, maybe you feel a bit disappointment. Uh, disappointed in whatever has come through. You've been waiting for returns to. Uh, you know, the returns of that. Uh, particular venture you have invested a lot of time and effort uh, in it and maybe a lot of money in it and maybe whatever has come through has not been quite what you wanted so you're feeling a little bit regretful a little bit depressed maybe a bit unsupported as well at this particular time you got the two of swords so there was a decision that you had to make uh, about you know maybe um, you know maybe a legal decision uh, had to be made or some kind of official decision had to be made uh, you were you know in dilemma about something uh, in the past you made a brand new start obviously uh, but this um, this has still upset you this choice uh, you know has you're not seeing things very clearly maybe truth hasn't come to light you're you're feeling a bit down a bit depressed about whatever this decision was whatever this legal decision that was made uh, or whatever decision you had to make, maybe to cut somebody out, maybe to uh, uh, get rid of a relationship, has caused a lot of upset for you there. So you're still dealing with that depression. 
uh, you're looking at a lot of options so weighing a lot of pros and cons maybe looking at a lot of things that you want to get going a lot of ventures so this is a card about procrastinating you've got a lot of things in your mind that you want to get done but you're not actually putting the energy into it so you do need to focus really um, you know because you're still confused with the moon card and the seven of cups it's going through a period of great confusion not really seeing the light at the end of the tunnel now you've got the ten of pentacles and this is about ending old maybe old family situations maybe breaking ties with somebody maybe even going through a divorce or separation uh, but this could also be about ending an old job and starting something brand new so you're ending cycles at the moment and maybe this is why you've got all these options on your mind things that you want to do it could be some money coming in as well with that ten of pentacles but it looks like you want to make a brand new start at something there's an offer coming in for you now if this is the end of a, a relationship it looks like there's a new offer coming in it's either a new business venture or it could be a new relationship coming in with that two of cups something is coming in on an offer for you it might be a long-term soul commitment relationship coming in for you uh, there maybe somebody that offers you a marriage as well with that ten of pentacles so something coming in for you that might end up in a marriage or a long-term relationship going in you are feeling very alone uh, feeling very isolated uh, feeling very cut off uh, you're also up on your guard over here with the queen of swords you might be waiting for legal decisions as well to be you know uh, legal decisions pending uh, you might even be thinking of signing new contracts as well as well but you're in a state of uh, a bit of a standstill over there um, but it looks like there's something coming in like I said if this is a, a, um, a relationship it might end up being something long-term that ends up uh, you know as a marriage if this is a business proposal it is something long-term that is going to be quite established and bring in a lot of money so something on offer you're waiting for some kind of news to come in with that knave of swords over there so maybe making decisions about signing contracts or you're waiting for some kind of legal news to come in there even here with this queen of swords waiting for some kind of decision to be made there so going into the future and the final outcome you've got the ten of wands the ten of cups and you've got the queen of wands so a lot of endings uh, coming in over here it seems you've got that ten of pentacles this is endings uh, you know financially uh, financial situations it could be beginnings of something brand new coming in the finance uh, sector but you've got the ten of wands so you have been carrying a lot of responsibilities dealing with a lot of problems really uh, and uh, waiting for that cycle to end and it looks like it's about to end right now you've got uh, that light at the end of the tunnel with that window through there you know you can see the future finally you've got the ten of cups so uh, difficult emotional situations now coming to an end and you will now move forward so this is definitely the end of a cycle phase that you're going through and you've got that queen of uh, wands over there so this is about you needing to take control of that situation now you could have been dealing with a fire sign person which is Aries Leo Sagittarius and you have now ended cycles with them completely you are finished and done with them and you're now going to be moving on so you may have had a difficult emotional relationship with this fire sign person and they may have caused a lot of problems and issues for you um, you know a lot of arguments and fighting and this has now come to an end uh, this is now definitely you've got three tens there so this is a definitely an end of a cycle with whatever you've been dealing with this uh, queen of wands also talks about you getting a new venture and taking control and uh, being successful at it and maybe you know doing a lot of travel a lot of international communication as well you're certainly waiting for something to come in over there um, so uh, a little bit uh, you know you're in a phase where you're in transition at the moment waiting and ending things so just hang in there a little longer so you've got the star card over here and this is uh, you are about to take a big leap forward in your life worry you will be replaced by optimism fear with hope and joy is coming home to roost so you are at a, a little bit of a uh, standstill right now it looks like things are just you're on the brink of a big change coming through so just keep the hope keep the faith going uh, you know you've just ended something difficult and you're about to start something brand new uh, you've got the four of spring over here so it's time to kick back and relax celebrate all that you have and joy arises from success in your career the completion of a project a happy home life so uh, things are coming to an end um, you know and your projects look like they are going to be successful with that four of spring four of springs the four of rods it's about celebration so success is coming to you you've got that three of rods so whatever you put out there you've got the four of spring which is the four of rods it's going to be successful so don't worry so much 
and it's about time that you take a little bit of a break and then with that successful completion the money comes in with that king of autumn so everything is going your way um Prospects will be stunningly successful. Exciting new career opportunities are possible. Money and resources that come your way will be invested wisely. So money is coming. Whatever you've been working on as far as this project goes, it's going to be uh, bringing a lot of wealth for you. So just hang in there. It's about ending of old ways of life and old cycles and old emotional difficulties. And just having a little bit more uh, faith and optimism that things will be successful and the money will come in for you and you'll start a brand new cycle in your life. So I hope this reading has resonated and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.